Hello there, Mob Scientist here. I will be playing Hogwarts Legacy, and after many, many months, I will be playing it for a second time. Yes, I will be doing things a little bit differently. Compared to my first playthrough, I will be playing as a bad guy, first of all. Well, bad guy, I will be playing as an evil character. But before we get to all of that, I will be reading my acceptance letter of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a 5th year student. Term begins on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the degree of reasonable restrictions of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Alice of Vic to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle from the start of term, feast, and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Mr. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmaster. To make things a little bit faster, I already made the character that I will be playing. I will be playing as... Well, I want to go bald, but that's not really an option. I will be playing as a shaved person. Completely white hair, red eyes. Yeah, I had the feeling kind of looked kind of evil. Not completely evil, but... Not completely trustworthy. And that's perfect name for this character, because, well... I can't my, use my own name, I'm Mob the Scientist. Science and magic don't, don't really go hand in hand. I decided to go for Magic Mike. For people who don't know what Magic Mike is, it has nothing to do with magic, but well, I thought it was a funny name, so let's let's go to it. Let's let's keep going. Let's start our journey. To Hogwarts. And the other stuff that will happen, of course. Oh. Thank you, uh, Professor Fick. It appears we are almost ready to depart. Uh, finally! It's I can't wait to go to Hogwarts. Time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Oh, that was uh, quite sure really fast. So Just only once, like a uh, practiced wizard already. To be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fick. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, hello there. George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. No, I don't mind. Let's go along. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Yeah, that would be very nice. Unfortunately, we all, most people will know that uh, don't really work out that well. And up, up, we are away. Let's go to Hogwarts. Ah. Flying. One of the most enjoyable things in this game. Just barely. And who is your traveling companion? A well, new uh. <laughs> new? Yes. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. Yeah, I'm, I'm special. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, that's uh. I couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig no, is probably not, not. an exceptional teacher. He's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a... Uh, 
Not that friendly of saying that in someone's face. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. I, I mean... Although I've yet to convince my colleagues... Dangers of potential rebellion is never a good sign, I would say. So, he's at least somewhat dangerous. Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died. My bigger question is why does he know it and you don't? Fake. You, you have to think a little bit. <laughs> why did she inform him and not you? It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Yeah, this is something I can understand why she didn't send it to you because, well... Whatever magic protects this that would be a little bit too logical. Uh, just like that she would send it to you. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Yeah, I think you can see a glow now. Ooh, interesting. Merlin's beard. H how did you? Wait. I think this. Oh, <laughs> hello, dragon. <laughs> no, I think it's actually pretty interesting. He, he don't know how to use that magic, and he's like, oh yeah, let's open this. Whoop, open. So I assume the key works in a way that it recognizes someone who is able to use the magic and lets him use the magic automatically. So yeah. I think the driver is like, oh, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> so, like, I, I'm, con I'm not gonna help those guys, this is their problem, I'm just gone. Whoop! Okay, we are away from uh, the dragon, That, that's good. Now, where did the port key bring us? a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Huh. Th then also the nice thing about a game like this is like healing is actually very easy because the, the healing system is not like something what well it is magical because oh, magic it's magical world and I that's this why it is explained you can instant heal not like other what games like oh yeah and we can just heal without <laughs> without reason so that's nice that's things that make it easy when you have this kind of uh, magical system especially the magical system like harry potter yeah indeed where the fuck are we an item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place yeah, I mean, we're here now. I would say let's explore if you like this uh, cave and the sorting area. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. No, we don't know yet. Let's uh, let's learn. Let's learn who made it. Oh damn! Yeah, I've completely forgot. I have to walk this part. Oh, I want to run. Ah, beautiful. Where did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. I this do too. This has not been the day either of Actually, I know it was meant to lead us there. But sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she... And this now bird. George died Damn. in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, the birds look very nice on, in the distance, but this bird close up is like doesn't really look that great. <laughs> Let's see if it looks really, really car, fake. <laughs> okay. Luckily, we don't have to keep looking at that bird. We can just keep on walking. Oh, yes, we can run. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. 
Well, um, I think we'll be yes. surprised in just a moment. A magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Really? Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. Yeah, that's a path. Way. Yeah, I know, but I also know if I keep on running, you <laughs> just destroy, just destroy the bolts. Can I actually roll? Oh yes, I can already roll. That's nice. <laughs> I just automatically draw my wand here. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, are you sure you want me to wield magic, sir? <laughs> Powerful magic. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. I would if you learn alert me. Yes. And the destroyed. Come on, Professor Fake. Let's keep going. Yeah, I know. Thank you, game. Thank you for explaining me me this stuff again. Um, okay, yeah, probably yes, I, I think on your old day that's the kind of gets a little bit, little bit more difficult. Uh, yeah, I have to go up here. Come on, don't allow me. Okay, now it doesn't allow me. So Professor Fick has, has to tell me where to go. Nice. Yeah, I remember this chest from the first time I played. <laughs> just, just gonna collect a little bit of gold. Gold is um, easy to come by if you look out to get it, but if you're sometimes lazy and don't always collect the gold or don't sell your equipment when you don't use it or not planning to use it, then gold is kind of a difficult commodity to come by. Um, also, if you play this game, uh, I would definitely recommend that as soon as you can, use your money to buy stuff to to oh, constantly keep there. remaking it. So, buy seeds, uh, buy so you can make the potions. Um, don't buy stuff; just make it yourself, because otherwise you will run out of money really fast. <laughs> And otherwise, you will have lots of money and don't have to think about it. So, yeah, well, it's not really out of place, but I mean, this looks nice. Look at this mural. It's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. I, yeah, um, yeah, he's probably saying that because of what's on the mural. <laughs> it actually never properly looks at the mural. Yeah, it actually looks like a crystal ball to seeing cards looking at the stars. Yeah, it looks like a seer. Interesting. And then you have this statue. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Um, well, yeah, I, I would say a strange place to put your home, uh, even if the landscape has changed probably in the past few years, still. So that's just <laughs> not the safest place to that put your home, stone again. even <laughs> even if you're a magician, but well. Professor Fig. I think the mirror system is actually very well done this game. Because look at this. It's not even using ray tracing. I don't have ray tracing enabled because damn, that How uses a lot of resources. Why would someone have conjured that and to be quite honest, um, I don't know if and it is fixed at this point, but I have seen um, videos of when it. people use ray tracing. There's it looks worse than using high 
uh, quality settings uh, from rasterization and that kind of stuff. So, uh, can I? I was not using the right button. Yeah, okay. Um, so, I maybe will look at ray tracing at some point, enabling it in this game. Um, I mean, the first time I played through this game, I was still using a 5700 XT, which is an 8 gigabyte graphics card, and at some points it went very well. Uh, it was also playing 1040p, but with um, FSR enabled. Uh, but the stutters, just random stuttering. I already bought a new CPU because <laughs> my CPU was getting really old. Uh, but, and I thought, yeah, well, if it's on XD, it's still a fine graphics card. But at that point, I started noticing the problems with 8GB VRAM buffers. Um, this is actually one of the first games that had problems with 8GB VRAM buffers. And I was already looking at buying a new graphics card. I just bought a CPU first with the intention to buy a new GPU around this time of year, maybe even a little bit later. Uh, like the mid range 7000 series from AMD or the 40 or 4070 class of from Nvidia uh, or something similar from AMD side. Um, but well, uh, the graphics cards <laughs> from Nvidia are just horrible, sorry. Uh, they're just not very good. Uh, and performance wise, they're great. They are powerful GPUs. The VRAM, the VRAM on like the 70 class, and especially the 60 class, is just horrendous. Um, but this primarily the prices that are bad. If, like, I mean, for 60i, which is uh, 16 GB that has been released like a few days ago, was like 400 euros, would be still very expensive and really worth it I would say this in the way, current yeah. market especially if you look at the other offerings around it uh, from the la la last generation but at least would understand why something costs around that amount of money but now oh damn that 500 500 euros 500 bucks for that kind of graphics card sorry for saying it you really don't know what you're buying if you buy this graphics card I mean, it's better than getting the 8 gigabyte version, but not for the price. It's just too too expensive. Especially if you can get like 67 XTs for like a fraction at this point for the price, and it performs very similarly. Yes, ray tracing is worse. You don't have this 3.0, but uh, I'm not really a big fan of the SS 3.0 compared to what the SS 2.0 is and FSR 2.0 is. They, that's a useful technology, uh, and I hope it will get better in the future. But currently, I don't really like it. I have the like the feelings of first generation uh, DLSS or first generation FSR. Just major drawbacks for not that much that you can that you get out of it. I think it's really great when you already have a lot of FPS, like in the 60s and want to get a little bit more for experience, I think with that kind of circumstance is very great, but I mean a 60 class graphics card in 1080p already exceeds like the 60 FPS mark on max settings very easily and if you go to higher resolutions it struggles to get to that point, so it doesn't, it isn't powerful enough to use it and it's not, it's at the same time too powerful to use it, so yeah, it's not like very useful in many circumstances, but well, um, not a reason to buy the graphics card, in my opinion, of course. Oh, he he doesn't look like a, a very friendly goblin. Yeah, my character also noticed uh, the armband. Um, but yeah. Yeah, stra strange guy, strange guy. Professor, mm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Well, was it? Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Yeah, probably because most people who made that, that section of the bank are already dead. Yeah. 
But, um, so yeah, um, because of the current CPU prices and the market, I had a little bit of luck and I could snatch up a 6900 XT, not a 50, but the normal 6900 XT for like 500 euros. Brand new, so not second hand, which is actually was very nice, especially this already two months, two, three months ago. So it was a very, very good deal. And I would definitely say to everyone, I would recommend buying it uh, for that price, even even still nowadays. 16 gigabytes free, um, like easily 144 FPS gaming on 1040p. Very powerful graphics that even still nowadays for 4K gaming. Yeah, if you can snatch it up, if you're not really that big into um, ray tracing, and you see it more as a gimmick or something nice to turn on every so often, especially if you're only playing with 1040p. Sir, yeah, this, this graphics card is still powerful enough to use it for that. But I would definitely not pay more than 550 euros for <laughs> this card new at this point. Um, and at the, at the maximum like 450, 500 euros second hand market. There must be or s some, a little bit more for the 50 class because, uh, well, it's still a little bit faster, Rebellion. but not much. So. Yes. You can say pay 50 euros more, 50 bucks more for the 50 class and compared to what I, I, bought, uh, I paid for it. But hey, uh, let's learn the spell Revalio. I'm actually curi curious what actually happens when you fail this. I have never tried it. I don't know why. I, I, will, try, I will try it in a, a future spell. Probably a spell that has a little bit more... Um, there. Problems when you feel it, like Bombarda we'll or something later on. Does it explode in your face or you just won't be able to cast it at that point? Um, that would be interesting. I, I will try it, oh, but stuff. not now, because Revalue is, is a very easy spell. Game. It would be uh, a a kind of I boring. Probably if something happened, if I, I, think, I don't think anything happens forward. actually. Then I guess Otherwise, I would probably have already seen it, just by a chance, or uh, through YouTube, or other kind of stuff. But let's open this door and uh, explore this uh, location. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean yeah, that's earn our way out. Do you think this looks is something to test? Yeah, that looks probably true, Professor. Um, but maybe you should learn me the spell that you're using. Lumos, was it? I mean, it would be useful if I was also able to ca cast it. I also don't really understand why he didn't learn me this yet. Like, he only learned me, like, his basic cast. If you have, like, at least a few days of me, of me be able to learn some spells, I would assume I start a little bit more than only basic cast. But on the floor. It's also incredible that he is able to use basic cast without saying anything. It's like, oh yeah, no problem. Especially because it is shown in, I mean, when you read the books, it is like a more advanced skill to be able to cast magic without saying anything. Speaking about books, uh, the books and the movies are completely different. <laughs> I... I read the books when I was uh, like um, around I like eight, ten years old. Um, around that point, floor. I was not very young, but I was pretty young to read those books. Um, yeah, uh, maybe value. Yeah, um, and I haven't re read them anymore the since that there, point. So last time I read the books, I was like, I think. 11 and after that point I read some of them again in English because I'm not as you probably can hear perfect perfectly I'm not native uh, but um, to because uh, I had to read books for school uh, in English and I decided to read some of the Harry Potter books because well I was lazy and I didn't want to read at that point anymore I was completely fed up with reading um, so I 
decided to read books that I already read uh, previously and wrote about that. I'm actually surprised that they never caught me because I, when I started um, reading the books again, I noticed how hard they differ from the movies because I have only been watching the movies for the last few years because, well, I, I didn't want to read anymore because of school. Uh, I, I, I have to use potato. Don't just destroy them. It would be nice if you attack me. Yeah. Uh, and I started... Um, and so I only watched movies, which are very great, by the way. Uh, there are definitely flaws with the books. Uh, I mean with the movies. Um, especially... I think especially the fifth one because a lot of things were taken out of the f out of the film which are in the book and I think are very interesting. But I also understand if you Professor, would have Professor made this the book Professor, into the movie and you, you want to put everything in there, that movie would have been like four hours at least, and you would still have taken things away from the book. Uh, and stop the time. Uh, maybe I have to use limits. I have to. to <laughs> when I'm playing the game, I still have to look what I'm Rebellion. doing. I have What's to go right there. Look, the wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ooh, chest. Yeah, money. Um. And ah, I, the differences between the two is uh, especially staggering when you look at. It's to the character's perspective. Um, and st well, story-wise, they are actually very similar. Uh, oh. Lumos. Just. Um, but when you look at it through the characters like Hermione, um, Ron and Harry, they are... Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm at a good point. No they they are different, especially Ron and Hermione. Um, Hermione is definitely too important in the movies. Like Ron is like the comic relief without any good reason. No, not that. Not saying that Hermione is. I don't understand why they did it. But in the books, they are actually really a trio. They bounce uh, off, off from each other, they learn from each other. Uh, Hermione is not that confident, um, is not really used to be in the wrestling world. And a lot of exposition that has went to Ron in the past is now being done by Herma Hermione. I like parts that uh, she can learn out of the books, out of, out of books that she learned in, in, in the from out of the library, but it's not everything you can learn from there, and especially not like the intuition to use magic. Uh, especially in the first movie and book, from the one of the major differences is when they uh, want to get the Philosopher's Stone. Um, and when they. Oh, I completely forgot the English name right now. Uh, but when they go through the trap door from. Um, um, the, the three-headed dog, uh, I think it is called Fluffy. Uh, <laughs> oh, light. Uh, is there anything to see here? No. Uh, when they go to that trap door and they fell on the um, the back the black plant, I completely forgot the name. Um, in the movies, it's like Ron has to say to Hermione, "You, you are a witch." Like he has intuition of being in the Western world and. Just thinking up about things logically when in the thing. He kind of panics, but not in the same way that it is in the in the movies. Um, the, the the differences are major and I have the feeling like if they actually go through with remaking the series, I really hope they go a little bit more like the books and the character aspects that they that they change things that they add things i don't really mind but i really hope they really look again at the mo at the books 
and really look at how the characters interact with each other and how they char the characters right are in general. Because, well, in the movies, <laughs> if Hermione, if Hermione, Hermione the wasn't there, they that is wouldn't survive a second. Well, it looks like you don't need the other I two wonder. for Hermione to survive. Well, in the movies and the books, it's just very clear that if one of the three is missing, the trio isn't functioning optimally. Um, they need each other and that is not reflected in the movies as well. And I think that is one of the major drawbacks of the movies. Um, so, everyone has only watched the movies. Uh, I also have a completely different view about this stuff. Um, which is fine. I mean... I understand why people, why people don't want to read books constantly, especially with our post series. It's like seven books combined, it's like more than 200, 2,000 pages, maybe even more. I think the fifth book is like 700 pages in, Eng in English, in, Ameri in the American version at least. I think the British version is a bit less thick in pages because, well, the spacing of uh, the letters and that's meant to be different. But I think, like, the first two books are like and then going to close it, are like, are like 200 and a bit. The third book is like 300. For the fourth book is already like going towards the four in the 400s, maybe even the 500s already. I think the uh, fifth book is the thickest one. I think the seventh book is actually 600 pages. I would love. To look at it, the Dutch version at least, because it won't be that much different compared to the English and American, to the English version, or the British and American one, which are slightly different in page counts, like I said, because of the way they space the words and that kind of stuff. Uh, but the books are not in the, are behind me, but like, in the other side of my um, uh, book. Um, uh, I want to say chest. Uh, uh, bookshelf. That was the word I was looking for with bookshelf. So I can't take it immediately. So uh, maybe I can't put it up there how many pages it is. I don't know. Um, and you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. Yay, I am important. Typically game, typ typical game logic. You're important, so... <laughs> Otherwise, the game would be kind of boring, of course. You can't just be... S actually, it would be a very interesting game at some point. You're actually not the main character. You're the side character. You have to support the main character constantly. And the main car character is a complete idiot. <laughs> that would be a really infuriating game. At the same time, as it would be completely hilarious. I, I would actually play that. You constantly have to fix everything that the main character uh, does wrong, and he always gets all the compliments. He always gets all the help that is needed. He's very popular. You are like, you're the side character. You're wrong. You're not very, not that, that popular. You're not like hated or something, but you're not the most important character, and everybody knows it. <laughs> Especially if you look at the movies, like I said before. <laughs> but one is nice. I like one. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have Especially in the first few books, I like one more than Hermione. In later books, I think it's actually the opposite. Hermione grows as a character more than Ron does. Did she just kill him? Yeah, probably. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Actually, actually, my the character looks very scared, and if you think about it, it's actually hilarious. It's like scared now, and it's just like like two hour game time. He just like destroys fucking everything. Like there's nothing. Just like oh yeah, just cast this spell, cast this spell. Yeah, I'm a beast. <laughs> he goes like from nothing to like an incredible wizard, <laughs> like. A few, a few in-game hours, a few days in Hogwarts, which is incredible. Uh, Professor, maybe you should come here. Oh my God! 
Oh, every time he, my character says something, it is actually all the time Magic Mike. Which is <laughs> incredibly horrible. <laughs> oh, oh, I've just been talking, I've not been really looking at what's happening. Because, well, I rather play this part. It's just kind of the boring section. I think the, 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 the interesting things happen a little bit later, especially the dialogue. Totally unaffected by my magic. Yeah, it was very ineffective. You will learn a little bit later oh. why. A little bit, well, <laughs> in a few be. hours. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. They want me to end up at Hogwarts? Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yeah, we're at Hogwarts. Yay! Uh, and now we have the first look at Hogwarts, th the train, which is look is probably leaving already. Uh, so we are a little bit too late. Well, if you're not if you're on time, that's kind of boring, you know. You have to make a splendid entrance, uh, like a flying car or having a fight with magical statues and goblins. Yeah, just typical stuff. If, if you don't have a special entrance in Hogwarts, you know you will have a boring, boring year there. I remember the first time I was playing this, it was like, oh my god, Hogwarts, it looks so beautiful. And it actually does look very beautiful, it is actually incredible. Uh, just flying around Hogwarts is just astonishing. Oh, the amount of detail in every ceremony. corner is I'm just no wow. Um, I, I find it even more incredible than inside the building because inside the building you, ex you as kind of expect that it's like the main interaction which which you end the game the interior you have like i think 20 to 30 percent of the game is inside the castle kind of uh, and maybe it's just because i was just running around too much uh because i'm already <laughs> saying it low number and i have the feeling like it because i was running way too much around early in the game but like i think easily i have like Five hours of not playing the game and just running around Hogwarts, doing nothing but running around. But yeah, oh. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet. I'm actually, yeah, actually, he. I was thinking this, this um, is this mentioned in the books that uh. He was at some point, well, a family of Black was a headmaster. Yes, it was actually mentioned because it, it is actually pretty important in certain sections of the book. I don't know why I completely forgot that part. It was like, a, is he important? Oh, yes, of course. Um, and um, I think that's the sixth. He, uh, they used it as a communication mechanism between uh, the, ho uh, the house and. That's the sixth, or anyway, it's probably the fifth. The fifth is uh, between the house and. I'm really confused. Is the fifth or the sixth? It is. The fifth this is the fifth book. They, they use this communication platform between um, be Order of the Phoenix and uh, Dumbledore, which is You're interesting to do it like that. Have a seat. Um, okay, I will sit down. And. Now he will recommend me Gryffindor because well my game is still linked with um, Pottermore. Uh, well, Wizarding World. Uh, I think is the modern oh, name of the yes. website. A bit older than the others, yeah, I'm still used to seeing Pottermore Come because here, when I was using it in the past, I was a lot younger and I'm just Certain used to it. Um, I remember that I at some point came back to Pottermore and I was like, what the. Fuck am I? This is not Baltimore. <laughs> this is the rest of the world. Uh, where is everything? So I have to, so I had to migrate my stuff still. Um, uh, yeah, I want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. 
Mm. Yeah, I want I want to destroy goblins and dark wizards because there can only be one dark wizard in this world, of course, and that will be me. After I finish my seven year, my, well, I won't say seven years here at Hogwarts, but I, I only have three years left because fifth, sixth, seventh year, yeah, it's three. Undaunted by the unknown. Yeah. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Well, you're right. I belong in Gryffindor. But Magic Mike doesn't. Magic Mike definitely has to be a Hufflepuff. He is bad. I mean, look at that emblem. The only bad people can be in that house. No, of course not. <laughs> the real bad kinds are in Slytherin. But I have to say, Hufflepuff has one very interesting uh, thing, and the only reason why it will play. And this it's some no one reason why we will play the game again even later on. Uh, first to like Slytherin. Um, yeah, ambition and power. I like that. Uh, in Hufflepuff, you go to Azkaban. For people who don't know that. Like now you know, uh, every house has this as its own like side you missions. Um, I think uh, in Gryffindor you have like things with um, um, the the Gryffindor uh, ghost. Um, well, it is actually <laughs> strange. When I'm speaking Dutch, I always have the problem that I want to say the English names of the characters, and now when I'm speaking oh, English, I have the tendency to say the Dutch. Thing names of the characters, the which is really confusing, and I don't know why, um, but yeah, <laughs> for some reason that's a problem, and what? No, no Quidditch? It's not as though God damn it, uh, it doesn't look like Professor much. Black, but now, pff, well, what an ass. Tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, we have to sleep. Nothing else, just sleep I'm around. Sure you all have plenty to do Maybe not sleep around. Tomorrow. I mean, you're not allowed to go in each other's uh, rooms. This is even worse. In, in the books, um, it is explained that if you. It, it doesn't really give the uh, common rooms. Uh, does not think said about the other rooms and the other houses and how that works, but in the gift of the common room, when you as a male. Uh, character uh, as a male uh, person wants to go into the sleeping uh, dormitor dormitories for the from the woman. Uh, the uh, the stairs actually change into um, like you can glide on the stairs, so you can't walk up it. It's actually an interesting mechanic uh, to keep boys out of the female dormitories. Um, but the other way around, it doesn't work like that, so females can just go up there without any problem. Yeah, um, kind of sexist, but I understand where it comes from. <laughs> probably, probably is the right call. Uh, maybe I would have done it in both ways, I mean. You just want to be sh completely sure, but yeah, I mean. This guest was built in like early middle ages. Middle ages. I have to think which year was set, like 1400, maybe even older, 1200. I have to look it up. I don't know. But the castle is old. Uh, with middle age standards built, so yeah. Ah. It looks just beautiful. Ah. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Uh, yeah, if, if everybody's already gone, I don't know how long you slept, but I had a feeling like you're missing your classes, if if this is the case. I mean, I'd, I would assume most people are like, suppose some introductions are in order. not that uh, already is away for a pretty long time, like they're all standing here. But yeah, let's look around. <laughs> Hello, Sebastian. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. 
I'm Sebastian Salo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. I really like that he was like very angry with you. Less, a little bit like interesting, and then he goes like, "Oh, you're the new fifth year. Welcome, welcome. Very interesting. I'm pleased to meet you." It was exciting, of course. Dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, but actually, what were you reading? I mean, that is. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, what were you I'm looking sure for? Find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a Of course, you want to learn every s asset of the magic world <laughs> if you learn magic. Time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Well, I hope Sebastian and I will become friends and I will learn uh, all the spells that are I that we are able to learn, even if it is outside of school. You might want to think that again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. That's... Checkmate. Uh, I mean, that Told looks you. like something very simple to see. That was a bad idea. <laughs> if, you if you have, like, oh, a piece that goes just straight up and it's like... You're dead. I mean, often not the right move. On your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Yeah. Um. Hmm. We yeah, don't need you. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. I'm ready to I'm so disappointed <laughs> myself. <laughs> Not oh. the way I fly. Every time I Perhaps see magic mic, I just slash like, oh no, wh what did I, I do? Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I think I this was a good idea? Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, Im Imelda, you're not that goodbye, interesting, Imelda. so goodbye. Nice meeting you. Because, well, you'd only think you're good at this flying at the broom, and I will beat you at it every single time. You will see, I'm a very good flyer, even though I know I, don't know it I myself yet. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous gaunt. Well, nice uh, uh, I won't well, say welcome, Ominous Gaunt, but uh, nice to meet you indeed. Uh, I do like when I make well, an entrance. If I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Uh, yeah, just. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet Not you. that important. He, he is. Um, be a stranger. He's a fam. Uh, to give a little recap, because I already know. He is family of the Gunn family. The Gunn family is uh, a descendant family of the. Um, the, 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 the maker of the Slytherin house. So, Salazar Slytherin. Um, and, well, in case you didn't notice it yet, he is blind. Um, the mermaids, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that was said. Uh, the mermaids uh, are just a kind of a prank, a joke on first years and that kind of stuff. Good morning. I so nothing that's not Hogwarts? that interesting. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation. Joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Yeah, catching Especially up. I have to learn in five in one year what everybody had five year five years to learn. Yes, the ordinary wrestling level exams. Hey. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. Owls. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry. 
We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. And also, that's actually kind are. of interesting that they are like, hey, we made a book specifically for you to learn a lot about this world and to excel y your skills. And I think like, if you use this the same book on all the students, which, wouldn't you be able to let it them learn a lot faster? And more efficiently. Of course, I can I can understand you can't do all the same things you did with. You can do for a single student, like you can't give him a separate room to practice spell casting and brewing and uh, taking care of animals. So I understand you still have to make those parts a little bit more prolonged. But I mean, if one student can learn everything that you need to know and like five years and only one year um actually he has to learn everything and one year that everybody has learned in the past four years together with everything is learning right that they are learning right now uh, which is actually incredible i mean this is fast if you do something like that you are actually able to run very very fast can't i run no i can't really run oh, God damn it. And educate yourself about wizarding lore. Yeah. Oh. Keep up. I'm uh, picking Rebellion. up this chest later on. <sighs> Already dead. Come on, game. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Lots of information. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody already knows. Okay. Okay, Professor Weasley, show me where to go next. Interesting thing, if you go to school here, she, she runs, so you save, save a little bit of time. And now I will learn about the flu network, which ah, is actually an interesting... Time. Add on in the game, this makes things sometimes a little bit faster. You don't have to go everywhere with food constantly. And it is not like the standard fast travel mechanic, so it's still a little bit integrated into the. Ooh. It's still integrated into the law of the world. So I actually really like this me mechanic. It says, hey, you still have to travel to stuff uh, for the first time. So it says, hey, you have to learn. So you have to learn how you have to learn about location. You have to travel around the world, and if you well we do are. speed things up Quite later on, you can just fast travel he everywhere. So I think this is actually a good way of doing stuff. Just like you can get in the from Hall. yeah, I, I don't know why it wasn't. Yeah, okay. It, it was not green, so I was like, do we have to pick it up still? Because we just traveled here, so I, so I would assume it was fine to use it immediately. But apparently not. Nice, my most useful classes. Thank you, Professor Wesley. Uh, yeah, I think our brother already knows your stuff, so, uh, uh well, let's listen to Professor Wesley. What is charms? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think terribly you would useful. enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Um, yeah, and you will see that he has a few screws, uh, he lost a few screws, too. Also very important. Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education well, <laughs> in that regard. It's, it is a good thing to learn what are auras now, because, well, I want to be a menace for auras in the future. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only ore wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. 
You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Friends, friends, yeah. You could call them friends, I guess. Thank you, Professor I would probably call them followers, but... And you have much to learn. Very similar, I'm, I think. I mean... Additional assignments for you people? Are, are they similar? Followers? Friends? Uh, yeah, probably. Earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the coast. Oh, no, Professor Weasley. It really isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. This is just a boring yeah. story. We Almost got attacked. We tried to get as much stuff back Speak as possibly possible, uh, possible and after that we just came immediately to Hogwarts. Oh. But we just lost a little bit track of time. With a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one I piece. I also find Perfectly it interesting to say they have, Hogwarts, like, this mobile people. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Okay, let's. Uh, Good luck oh. today. And remember Thank you, Professor Weasley. Uh, until next time. Invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll okay. see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, perfect. But, um... I think this will be the end of this first episode. We will be exploring the castle a little bit more tomorrow. We'll go to the first few classes, learn what... Professor Weasley pr exactly wants from us in the first few, uh, with our first interaction in her uh, city. And if you want to see more, just click on this channel button below. There will be more episodes in the next few days. And don't forget to like and subscribe.